Welcome to True Insight, a premium channel partner for Altair Engineering. In this video, we will look into geometry cleanup using Hypermesh 2022 interface. The new interface allows users to access the demo files which can be downloaded from the Altair One website. To access the demo files, just go to View and select Demo Browser, then select the file you need. In this case, we'll open the clip underscore repair. Now, we can change the edge color from the visualization toolbar at the bottom to see the topology. And we can see that it has multiple free edges and a couple of T-junctions which need cleanup. Now, we can go to the geometry toolbar and use the stitch tool from the edit group in multiple ways to clean up the geometry. Let's look at this edge. This has a missing surface. So we can select one of the lines and drag it to the other edge to stitch the surfaces together. Next, let's look at this line. It is showing a free edge because there is a gap between both of the surfaces and we can use the stitch tool to select the line to fill the gap. Note that the maximum stitching distance can be edited from the guide bar which is set to default as one thou. Now, Coming to this edge, we can use the drag feature to drag the bottom edge to the top and complete the stitch. We can use the select and stitch feature on other applicable edges and toggle the free edges to shared edges. Now if we select this edge, the toggle free edge doesn't work since the stitching distance is greater than 1 thou. Well we can go to the guide bar and increase the maximum stitching distance but it is not suggested to increase it more than 10 thou. So we can actually select the edges and surfaces and click stitch to complete the action as well. Now you can see that there is a menu in the top left corner of the GUI. We can use this to filter and identify the edges we need to repair. We can use the select to toggle method to complete the other free edges and move on. This free edge has a missing surface which cannot be stitched using the traditional stitch tool as it might cause the model to deform. So we can use the surface tool from the create group to patch the surface. All we need to do is hit find in the guide bar and the software automatically finds the surfaces to stitch. Then we can select any edge to create a new surface patch. Another issue that occurs often in CAD import is extended surfaces and there are different ways to fix these. We can delete the entire surface and create a new one with the appropriate edges. We just go to the surface tool from the create group and patch the surface. The other option is we can intersect the existing surface with another edge and delete the rest of the surface. For this, we can use the split tool in the edge tool group and select the target surface and then the tool surface and click split. This will split the surface into two. Now we can just delete the extended surfaces. Then we use the stitch to toggle the edge. The final edges that remain are the T-junction, which indicates that the edge is shared between more than two surfaces. But this part of the geometry does not seem to have more than two surfaces, which means there might be a duplicate surface here. So we can just delete the duplicate surface. Repeat the same operation for the other surface as well. That is it for this video and in the next one we will look into 2D meshing and mid-surface creation with an example. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos and tutorials and visit trueinsight.io for technical blogs and license information.